Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Yoru speaking and welcome to the introduction spoilers video for multiplayer game number 31 for you people that actually are first timers in here this is going to be a video uh, where I will s make a summary of the actual game this is not the actual gameplay video this is just to give you information what the game is about and if you actually want to watch it or to give you information about the parts you're actually interested in so spoiler alert and let's get started this time it's going to be a free for all mm, six player game no quitters uh, from the no quitters group which means no quitting obviously but that also means no shift clicks uh, standard settings not really this time is going to be a quick speed large islands <laughs> uh, no science victory uh, yeah and that's it strategic balance resources we actually were planting um, we were we wanted to play without ruins but after a couple of starts we actually made a map with ruins so we decided to just go on with it um, yeah okay we I rolled Austria together in this game we had um, Berlinden playing as Siam Big Cheese playing as Hans, Doh Head playing as Rome, NQ Lost in Space playing Egypt, and NQ Shumi 16 playing Russia. So let's get to the game itself. My island was small, <laughs> small and lacking hammer. Mm, seeing that, I decided to go uh, tradition, actually, three pop, uh, three population. Settler plant two cities and work towards National College. I managed to get plus one fate from desert uh, Since I got some flat plains, I had a steady income of fate and I managed to plant uh, I managed to make a religion which was very helpful for me after National College I planted a third city and on this in the same time, Russia was going like out of control. He had crazy production and crazy science. A very good start. I think he got a Hanging Gardens Petra start. So, wow, that was crazy. I missed Oracle. Mm, and after getting Compass, I started to make ships and beeline frigates. With, mm, with the ships, I started to fight city states to get some more hammers and to start getting experience on my boats but sadly Russia beat everyone to frigates very quickly and he attacked Rome uh, he killed him pretty quickly so GG Dohead <laughs> you were the unlucky person uh, bordering Russia with very good capital so GG. Next, he put his eyes, Russia, uh, and Kishumi put his eyes on Hans, but thankfully everyone, me, Simon, and Hans got frigates then, and um, I helped Hans defend, uh, but that was close, he almost lost his capital, and after that we pushed him back, Siam joined in on the action, so uh, he took, retook Rome, I took Milan and I took St. Petersburg and later on Siam uh, got Russia's great um, great capital so GG and Kishumi uh, and a great capital fell into Siam hands so he was getting ahead by a very huge amount um, so I decided to take out city-states so I took out um, Hong Kong Later on, I took Hanoi and I decided to go for Sidon. But Siam did not like that idea and he declared war on me. <laughs> uh, thankfully, I was able to push him back and actually deal him a lot of damage. Uh, almost taking one of his, well, almost taking, I was planning to take one of his big cities, but then Hans Bucks stabbed me and attacked my capital. He made a very sneaky attack on my capital. I tried to defend, I tried very hard, but my capital fall. Uh, but I managed to get my ships back. 
I fought Hans, he had to retreat, I took my capital back and we, well actually first I made peace with Siam and then uh, with a little bit of talking I made peace with Hans sadly thanks to the peace with Siam, Siam took out Egypt so GG, thank you, lost in space, I really tried to help you but I was not able to move my units fast enough so his capital fall and Siam took out Egypt but Hans started to move forward uh, to attack Siam and at the same time as soon as my peace treaty expired I declared war on Siam as well I took Rome uh, then I fought uh, to retake Moscow and I was trying to uh, deal damage to Siam's capital but he got mm, he got destroyers he got planes later on so I was not able to do much uh, though theoretically I gained sea supremacy but I couldn't attack his cities in all honesty against artillery and planes frigates just wouldn't do so I decided to back, back up and mm, spam ships since at that point I was very bad with science because I lost the capital I was like running minus gold and almost no science I just decided to go share numbers with privateers and frigates so I spam them all the time thanks to some mm, very lucky technology steals and burning some scientists while I st still was able to get science I did got oil I did got planes and I started to take Egypt down and after taking Egypt I was preparing to make a sneaky attack on Hans this time and I backstabbed him thanks his army was on the other side of the map taking Siam capital down so I was able to quickly take two of his cities though he got planes as well well he got planes he got the better planes he got nukes already he got two nukes but even though two nukes did not save him and I managed to take his capital so that was a great game a really really awesome game a lot of action a lot of backstabbing and a lot of fighting and I hope you will enjoy so thank you very much for the game everyone GG uh, thank you for watching and I invite you to watch the actual game so, see you later. Bye-bye.